Hey YouTube, it's me Popcorn, and I am royally pissed off. Cam Studios is the biggest piece of worthless shit on this planet. Uh, fuck. I did this video about eight times already, and I'm gonna have to do it in two parts. So, I'm gonna have to pause it within the middle, because it doesn't really like a big file, I guess. I don't know what the fucking problem is. But anyway, today we're going to be going over how to properly install Fake Factory Cinematic Mod for Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Episode 2. Um, so to start off, before we do any kind of installation, make sure Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and ha Episode 2 are installed, obviously, but also make sure that you run them at least once prior to installing so hit play run the game let it in, create the files and then quit it you don't have to play it do that for all of these and once you've completed that go over to tools install source sdk base 2006 and base 2007 all three of these once those are all installed and you went over what i just did go ahead and exit steam it needs to be closed for this installation process and for the sake of the video, I'm actually going to create another uh, file here. So hold on, I'm just going to stop the video. Okay there, sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to have to do that another three times or so. But anyway, um, where were we? After you completed all that and you exited Steam, go over to the website and go to Cinematic Mod 2013. You can read all this if you want, but it pretty much just goes over what I just went over. So go ahead and go down to download. There's a bunch of different links here. This could confuse a person. It's fucked up. I know it confused me the first time. But anyway, uh, there's a torrent link here. It is without a doubt the fastest option to download this mod out of anything else here. Uh, I tried it, but I think my problem was I didn't have Source SDK installed and that's why it didn't work. So, because you have yours installed, it, it might work, so you can go ahead and try the torrent if you want. But if it doesn't work, forgive my ignorance, I'm sorry. But go ahead and go over to this link here, if, if your torrent doesn't work. Now, this is a big mod, and this website is absolute shit, but I'll tell you, it is worth it in the end. You're going to need CM2013 A12 Installer Part 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 7. Select all those, download all of them. Once that is completed, um, wait, never mind. Uh, yes, download all of them, and then I'm actually going to stop the video again. This gives me a perfect chance. Pause the video now, wait for that to install. If you have slow internet, it might take overnight, who knows. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop the video, so I'll be, yeah, hold on. Alright, so, now that that is done, you've downloaded all seven parts, go to your downloads folder, obviously, let me get to mine, all seven parts, select all of them, right click, extract files, you could do it to your desktop if you want, it doesn't matter, Just extract them to wherever the hell you want. Uh, it is then going to show up as CM2013. Open that. You're going to see Setup, Readme, and Files, hopefully. Go into Files, Visual C Runtimes. Run all three of these. Install all of them. Once that is completed, go back to your original folder and run your Setup. Like I said, make sure Steam is uh, closed, not running. Hit Next. I agree. Next. Now, you can have... Half-Life installed in whatever directory you want, it, just make sure you select the right common folder, like it says here. My Half-Life is installed on my SSD, on my main drive. So, it's going to be this exact uh, location. So, once you it requires 44.5 gigs in case you are oblivious and didn't see that. Um, but yeah, go ahead and hit next and then next again and it is going to pop up a command prompt and it is hopefully going to start 
unpacking a bunch of files and moving a bunch of shit and whatever else. Once that, it, for me, it took about five to ten minutes. So I'm going to point that out. For you, it might take longer due to the fact that you might have a slower computer, but whatever. Once it's done doing that, it is then going to ask you where your Half-Life 2 directory is. You need to make sure you select where the hell your Half-Life 2 is, obviously. Then hit next, and it, I think it pops up with another command prompt or something like that. And then it finishes, and then you can close the setup. And now, if everything went off right, your game, or sorry, your mod should be installed. But before you launch, you, sorry, you can go ahead and run Steam again. I'm actually going to pause the video again. One sec. All right, there we are. Um, anyway, so like I said, if everything went off, the mod should be installed. Um, now you don't run the mod through Steam. You, you don't. You go start all programs, Fig Factory CM 2013. Right click on that, hit open, it's gonna pop this up. What the fuck? Um, sorry for the lag if it is laggy. Uh, but anyway, before you uh, select all three of these shortcuts and copy them over to your desktop for ease of access. That's what you actually use to uh, run the mod. But before you do that, go into the configuration tool and select all your graphical settings. That's where you do that. Um, but be, so do all your graphical settings and then hit character pimper for, um, I don't know where I was going with that. The character pimper allows you to select what, uh, what is this, like 20 different models for Alex. Um, and you can actually select different areas of the game, a bunch of different models. Like you could have that model for the intro, Eli's Lab, you could have that model, etc. So go ahead and select whatever model you want for every area of Half-Life 2, Episode 1, Episode 2, etc. Um, click on it and then hit yes and it'll install the model. I already got mine installed. Then, once you're done Alex, go over to main characters, do that for all these guys, civilian, HDES, combine HDES, then close, OK, and now you should be able to run the mod, if everything worked. If it didn't work, please leave a comment below, and I, uh, if, if you could try to do your best and describe what your situation is, if you do have a problem, I will help you to the best of my abilities. But if it did work, uh, th subscribe, rate, you know, maybe even leave a comment saying it did work, uh, thumbs up the video, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, <sighs> but yeah, uh, anyway, I'm going to shut the video down now, so enjoy the mod, guys. Hopefully it worked, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya.